Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's a concept that's been around for decades, but the technology used in recycling today is anything but old school. In fact, if your recycling program allows you to throw paper, plastic, glass, and metal together into one cart, then you're already using a cutting edge process called single stream recycling. And while you probably know that recycling is one of the easiest things you can do to protect natural resources like trees, water, and oil, you might be surprised to learn that single stream recycling helps communities save money by diverting materials away from landfills and towards manufacturers who pay for them. So how does it all work? This recycling truck is on its way to the Materials Recovery Facility, or MRF for short, where the automated process begins. Let's tag along and find out more. The separation process starts when the truck arrives at the MRF. The exact process varies at each MRF, but each efficiently separates recycled materials so they can economically be remade into new products. In this case, the materials are first carried along a conveyor belt to a V-screen separator. The V-screen is made up of a series of fast-moving rotators that separate out the newspaper, cardboard, and other paper items, allowing metal, plastic, and glass to fall through to the next belt. Once separated, the paper is bundled and prepared for reprocessing. The remaining materials carry on toward a two-stage metal recovery system. First, a series of super, heavy-duty magnets attract items made of ferrous metals, such as iron, tin, and steel, away from the belt and into an area where they can be packaged for a metal mill or smelter. Since aluminum isn't magnetic, it continues along with the other items toward an eddy current rotor. Eddy currents create strong fields of energy around non-magnetic metals, causing the aluminum objects to shoot away from the rotor and into a collection area for bundling. Plastic and glass items continue on the belt to an optical scanning system that recognizes the plastic items and moves them away with directed blasts of air the plastic materials are blown off of the belt, leaving the heavier glass to continue on. Now at the end of the conveyor belt, the glass falls into a final container, completing the separation process. You've just seen how a mix of recycled materials gets tidied up with little human interaction, but that's just the beginning. Using the navigation above, select the destination you're interested in visiting next. Or sit back, relax, and travel alongside the recycled paper to a mill, where you will learn how it will become new paper products. At any time, you can travel to and from any of the destinations. So what are you waiting for? Get going! After the bundles of paper make their way to the mill, they're loaded into a de-inker. This machine separates ink from the newspaper fibers through a chemical washing process, literally lifting the type off the paper. The rinsed waste paper is then mixed with water and solvents and reduced to a mixture called pulp slurry. This takes place in a giant blender called a pulper. The newly formed pulp mix moves on to a washing machine that dilutes it with water and then spins it at high speeds, removing small and large contaminants like wood, plastic, rocks, string, and glue. The clean pulp then continues on to get pressed. Pressing removes water and any remaining ink. By the time it gets to this point, it's solid enough to be fed through steam-heated rollers that flatten it into continuous rolls of paper. Unlike other materials, paper degrades each time it is recycled so it isn't always used to make new paper. Some of it is used to create insulation, office products, and even toilet paper and paper towels. Click on any of these products to learn more about how recycled paper is repurposed. Or keep moving and take a ride over to the metal smelter. After leaving the MRF, the reclaimed metal is sent to a mill, or smelter, where it is exposed to extremely high heat. At temperatures as high as 2,800 degrees Fahrenheit, it becomes a molten liquid. The molten metal is then cast into molds, becoming metal bars, called ingots, similar to the bars of gold in your favorite heist flick. Once cool, the ingots are sent to manufacturers who shape them into new products like aluminum cans, foil, file cabinets, office supplies, and even components for cars and airplanes. Click on these recycled metal products to learn more or you can continue on to the plastic reclaimer. When recycled plastic first arrives at a reclaimer, it needs to be mechanically separated based on what type of plastic it is. Each type of plastic is designated with a number ranging from one to seven. To learn more about the different types of plastic, simply click on the learn more icon. For now, we'll follow the most common type of recycled plastic, type number one, or PET, which is used to make items like soda and water bottles. Once the plastic has been sorted at the reclaimer, each type is fed into a grinder and churns into plastic plates. 
In some cases, the flakes can simply be cleaned and then made into new products. Or, as seen here, the ground up flakes can be further reprocessed for use. Once they're squeaky clean, they're placed in a furnace, melted, and further broken down to their individual elements. The resulting plastic polymer mixture can then be reformed into new products, such as t-shirts and baseball caps, plastic lumber for backyard furniture, and soda bottles. Click on any of these recycled plastic items to learn more, or travel over to the glass reclaimer. Recycled glass arrives at the reclaimer in all shapes and sizes, but that doesn't last for long. Its first stop is a crushing machine that smashes it into small pieces, called cullet. The smashed up cullet will either be sent directly to manufacturers, who mix it with virgin material, or placed in a furnace where it is melted into molten glass at temperatures of up to 2700 degrees Fahrenheit. In either instance, new glass containers can be made from recycled glass, as well as countertops and tiles for home improvement. Crushed recycled glass can also be used to guard against beach erosion, or used to create glass vaults, an alternative to paved streets. Learn more about recycled glass by clicking these products, or check out how our recycled materials are used globally. Although household recycled materials are often reprocessed domestically, many are also taken to ports, where they fill empty containers headed back overseas. Manufacturers of all kinds use our recycled materials to make new products many of which are then shipped back to North America where they can be used and recycled again. It's just one reason why recycling is so valuable economically. RecycleBank brought you this video because the single stream process is an exciting advance in recycling technology. At RecycleBank, we're advancing recycling even further by offering households rewards for the recycling efforts. We help municipalities and haulers track household recycling then reward homes with recycle bank points based on the weight of their recycled materials. These points can then be redeemed at hundreds of local and national businesses that support recycling. Now that you've seen what happens after you put out your recycling cart, we hope you'll be even more active in recycling as well as other green activities that make a difference today in your community. Because our planet really is just one big neighborhood. For more information about the recycle bank program, how it works, or the economics of recycling, please follow the links below.